In two previous lectures, we have discussed uh, visualization techniques, viewing a three-dimensional object, and being able to project orthographic views and understanding what orthographic views are and how they look with respect to the three-dimensional object. The two previous lectures that I will provide links to at the end of this video are third angle projection orthographic views and sketching orthographic views. Let's begin. Using Siemens NX, I've created a simple three-dimensional object. I refer to these simple objects as doorstops because they really serve no uh, significant engineering purpose other than a resource for visualization. So here's our object that we're going to work with, and we're going to use it to understand how to create in our mind, or in a CAD system, the orthographic views of this three-dimensional part. In these previous lectures, we've talked about using the glass box technique and so what I intend to do is today use that technique. So I've turned on the front plane of the glass box. I've turned on the right side plane of the glass box and now the top plane of the glass box. And I'll go ahead and turn on the left side, the back, and the bottom planes. Because those planes are actually between myself and the 3D object, it's hard to actually reach inside and select our doorstop and begin to doing and begin doing projections. So I'm going to turn on a clipping plane, which will open up a window and allow me to kind of reach inside of the glass box and begin doing projections. So let's do the orthographic projection or visualization of what this object would look like if viewed from the front view. So in our mind, what we need to do is ask the question, which of these surfaces would I see in the front plane? Certainly I would see this little surface and this little surface and this larger surface and to make sure that that's actually what I'm seeing, I'm going to ask the system to project that onto the front viewing plane. This technique is using what is taught in the previous lectures as third angle projection, or what is used commonly in the United States and in Canada. Next, we'll move over to the right side and we'll ask the same type question. Which of these surfaces can we see from the right side? Well, certainly we can see this little surface and this surface, and we can see this top kind of L-shaped surface. Projecting those using third angle techniques to that surface, we end up with this 2D representation of the object. Now part of that outline has been cut off by our clipping plane. Now moving on to the top surface, we ask the question, which of these, which of these surfaces can we see if looking straight down or normal to the top surface? Well, certainly we can see this top surface we can see this slightly lower surface, and we can see these two surfaces from the top view. To make sure that we understand that, we'll project it up to this top face and 
click OK. Now to just check our work and make sure that we've done that right, if we just use the technique inside of the CAD system to orient our 3D object to the front view, sure enough our two-dimensional blue outline represents the silhouette of each of these visible surfaces. Moving on to the right side view, sure enough we see the silhouette matches our 3D object. To be certain of that, let's turn off the clipping plane and see the rest of that object. And now let's move on to visualize the top orthographic view. And once again, we see here clearly that our blue orthographic projection represents the silhouette of each of those visible surfaces. Now these are all pretty basic and straightforward um, techniques, but as an engineer or an aspiring engineer, you need to be able to see a three-dimensional object and be able to quickly sketch it if you're in a, a meeting or a design review and you want to convey an, an image of this object, you need to be able to sketch it quickly in its, in its 2D orthographic views. We're going to bring up another example of a simple object, a little more complex but still pretty basic, certainly a doorstop, and we're going to once again begin doing the projections. And so if we start again with the front view, what surfaces are visible from the front? Well certainly that surface is visible. The one to the left of it is visible. This surface is visible as well as the top surface or the the uh, top front surface is visible. And so we project that onto this plane and get that type of an image. Moving now to the right side, in the right side view, certainly that surface is visible as well as this surface being visible and a portion of this surface is visible in the right side view, but a portion of it's hidden. So we're going to go ahead and select that surface and we're going to then project it to the right side view and say apply. Now once again, moving to the top view, we're going to come in and say what's view visible from the top view. Certainly that surface and this surface and this surface down here are all visible from the top view. We're going to say OK. Now looking at this, we need to realize that this line right over here that my cursor is over, and I'm going to just pick the line itself, that line right there should not be a solid line. It should be a dashed line. And so we're going to change its properties so that it is a green line, but it's not only green, we're going to make it a dashed line and say, okay. The dashed line means that it's actually a hidden line or it's a line that is obscured by another surface. Now what about this surface over here to the right? If we were to project that surface, that little surface, into the right side view, it would project at that location 
And once again, that's a correct projection because that surface is seen as an edge. But this edge should not be a solid line. It should be, once again, in our case, we're going to make it a green dashed line. Are there any other lines, either in the front view or the top view, that could be projected as edges and uh, hidden or turned into a dashed line as we did in this view? Well, let's check it out. Let's rotate our object to the front view. Are all of those blue lines visible silhouette lines in the front view? Yes, they are. Let's move to the right side view. And notice in the right side view, all of the blue lines that are showing are actual visible edges or silhouettes of visible surfaces and the green lines represent hidden edges and those are correct representations. Let's move once again to the top view and ask the same question. Are all of these blue lines correct in the representation of visible edges of visible surfaces? And the answer is yes. So let's try this one more example for this uh, video clip and see if we can uh, correctly identify everything that we need. So here's our third doorstop. And in this third doorstop, we're going to begin projecting edges into our front view. Certainly this surface is visible in the front view, and so is this surface visible in the front view. As we move to the right side view, what, what edges are visible? Well, certainly this edge is visible, as well as this surface is completely visible. In the top view, we have this L-shaped surface and we have this surface and this surface as viewable from the top view. Let's change all of these surfaces that we have here Let's change their display properties to let's make them uh, black or violet in this case, strong violet. And now let's ask the question if we wanted to add visible or excuse me, hidden edges to our orthographic projected views, what surfaces would we need to add? Well, in our front view, we would need to add this surface, and we would need to add that edge, that back edge. And so if we project those 
into the front view and say apply these two blue edges represent hidden faces or hidden edges that should not be solid lines before changing them however let's go ahead and project other hidden lines so in the right side view do we have any hidden lines that need to be projected the answer is yes we have a back edge and it's either represented by by that back surface and change once again the properties of these hidden lines. So we're going to select that edge. We're going to select that edge and we're going to select that edge and we're going to change their display properties to a dashed line. So here we have the correct representation of these three views and we're going to again quickly go into a front view. Notice the dashed lines are representing hidden surfaces or hidden edges. If we then go to our right side view, same is true there. We can turn off our clipping plane so that we see the entire outline or silhouette and we're going to go to our top view. This uh, concludes a simple refresher or help session on uh, 2D visualization going from a three-dimensional object to its corresponding two-dimensional orthographic views using third angle projection. Make sure you click on the links to go to the two lessons that focused on the topic of visualization um, sketching of orthographic views and the creation of third angle projection. Thank you.